So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our video of Sun in the 12th house of your birth chart as your Atma Karka. As in what happens when Sun is in the 12th house, but it has the highest degree in your chart. It is closest to the 30th degree point in your chart. And that means it becomes the Atma Karka. And of course, we're not going to exclude, we're not going to include Rahu, Ketu, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto in this. Okay, so just so for new people who might be watching this saying that my Pluto has the highest degree, my Uranus has the no, this is a complete different concept of astrology away from the astrology that you know, where these particular planets are not included. Okay, so that's what we're going to discuss today. And as always, if you do not know, if you have these, uh, if you have Sun as your Atma Karka, if it's in the 12th house or what house it's in, for that, check out the links here, karasastrology.com, where you'll find my books, reports, consultations, and link to my academy, Maga Vidya Astrology Academy, where I am getting to the most fun part of Nandinadi. And of course, the Vastu course, which will also help you with your own life in terms of wealth, money, satisfaction. So, Sun in the Ascendant, or I'm sorry, Sun in the 12th house, as your Atmakarka. So, one thing you will see. See, when you're the Atmakarka as the Sun, that means you're the king. Because why? Son is the king. Right? Son is the authority. Son is the father. Son is that chief within the village who everybody comes to. So now the chief, the king, is in the twelfth. Meaning uh, two things. Okay? The king has to abandon its original kingdom. You as the Atmakarka, you'll have to abandon your original kingdom, go to a far away place, and build your kingdom. That's what Sun will do as the Atmakarka. So even if somebody who's grown up in a small village in Italy, in Romania, in India, in Bangladesh, and they have no clue about the world outside of their domain this sun is going to make you go there doesn't matter it, it it doesn't have to be permanent could be temporary but you're going to go to foreign lands and you're going to become and you're going to be known as an authority on something in a foreign lands you're going to build your kingdom in foreign lands so when you see a person or you yourself have sun in the 12th house and you are feeling lost and you're suffering clearly shows it's now time to think about how do I go to a foreign place. Fine, for the first two years, I'll wash dishes in a restaurant. But I need to be there. Because part of your, part of sun as the Atma Karka, whichever house it's placed in, it's your purpose of birth. So purpose of birth, especially when sun is in the 12th house, one has to abandon their family leave their family. Sometimes a person abandons their family because of their own choices, because of their own karma. Sometimes they have to. Sometimes they need to. You know, like depending upon the sign, for example, one may create some kind of an issue in their own homeland, legal issue, criminal issue, and they have to now go to a foreign place. Parents send this person to the foreign place to establish their life because when if they're here, Nothing's going to happen. So this this is one of those situations. The other situation is, is that this person feels like in order for me to provide for my family, I have to go to a faraway place. The other thing, son as the Atma Karka, not as the Abhatya Karka, Matri Karka, Ghatani Karka, Dara Karka. If son is the Atma Karka, this person's purpose of life must become following a spiritual path. You must do spiritual penances. You must go to temple, church, mosque, synagogue, where you find that higher dimensional divinity, which is physics beyond physics. So here's the thing. As much as you may be a very scientific person, okay, as much as you're kind of like enveloped in this world of, oh, I only believe in science, Okay, and I don't believe in God. So, of course, this person will have, wait till science proves God. I'm like, okay, now I believe in God. Which might be too late. 
But the thing is, for this person, they have to understand that just like, you know, there's some like uh, fishes and like octopuses, they're completely black, right? You, you're seeing them uh, in the water, they're completely black. As soon as you bring them out of water, they become transparent white. Why? What's going on? Well, it's some or some form of morphosis that happens in this physical world, happens in physics. Just like that, God, the higher divinity, is this higher frequency that only once you know this, that's when you'll be satisfied in yourself. And even the person who's an atheist, a person who doesn't believe in all this, during their time of loneliness, they will always feel like, what is it that I need? What is it that there's this one thing missing in my life? What is it? What is it? What is it? Is it I need to accomplish this degree and make this money and do this thing? And they will never look at the thing that they don't want to look at, which is that they don't believe in it, which is the higher divinity. Until you do that, your purpose of birth will never be complete, at least in this life. I'm sorry to say that. You'll be wandering. I don't care. You can maybe be a billionaire. And they're, they're just as depressed as you are. I do readings of multimillionaires who are depressed. They're looking for a purpose of life. They'll get the Samsa reading. What is it that I do? I'm like, you got everything. You got all the money with you. you I mean, you're, you're driving a Rolls Royce. You don't need a reading for your career. If you want to know about your, your destiny, yeah, do this. Go here. Do that. And it always, that feeling of being lost always comes on to one thing. Not having piety inside you, or at least you have false piety inside you, or not having divinity inside you. That's the only thing that will always make you feel lost. So you're going to need that with the sun in the 12th house. Sun in the 12th house, it even shows one would have to live far away from the father. One has to um, see their father travel a lot to foreign lands and that develops their soul. Their soul development happens by seeing the separation of the father or lack of attention through the father. I also see with son in the 12th house, now this is something that you may like. A person can be a very high taxpayer. Someone may pay a lot of taxes in their life. And who pays a lot of taxes in their life? Someone who's rich. Someone who's wealthy. So as the Atmakarka, you're going to be, your responsibility is to give to the government. So trust me, you don't want to be in a position to get from the government. You want to give to the government. Which means what? You're, you're fine. People who are waiting for their tax return, that means that they're needing to pay some bill, right? But here you're, you're like, oh yeah, I need to give this check to the government. Made too much money. Boom. Right there. And then also with son in the 12th house. Part of your uh, purpose of birth is to donate a lot of things in your life. Because you're the king. King is now in the 12th house. King has to give away. The more you give away, the more you start understanding yourself. The more you donate money. The more you give yourself in service. The more you take care of the people who are not being taken care of. And at the same time with son in the 12th house, one should always invest money in some kind of a fixed, what do they call that? In India, I think they call it fixed deposit. Here we can call it money market account. Something, let's say, especially like government CDs, mutual funds, whatever it is that is like fixed and gives you interest. That particular type of investment does very well with this particular son in the 12th house. But of course, you know, you have to look at your, you have to talk to your financial advisor. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm an astrological advisor. Okay. That's what I know. But, but especially if son is with multiple planets, then multiple type of investments work. But again, uh, whenever you, this person invests through the government, it helps them more. But again, this is only for son as the Atmakarka. Not son as Batrikarka or Matrikarka. Or, or son, if son is some other degree and it's not the highest degree, it's going to be a different scenario there. And then, uh, and again, like I was telling you with son in the 12th house, some major issue in the family happens through which you have to leave. Through which you have to leave. 
it is that there's that um there's a karma because what happens is your ego will be completely blemished and cut off within the family your status somehow gets cut off in the family and you leave because you want to show you can do something like usually you will see people who run away from home as soon as the atma karka in the 12th house because the family thinks they were no good they had no skills no education they can't do anything and they're like that's it i can't be in this type of a family they run away they're like i'd rather die than be in this family somehow some way they get hired in some coffee shop some restaurant to do dishes next thing you know they now own 20 chains of that same type of restaurant and they come back as the unsung hero so that is your son in the 12th house okay so anyway guys if you're new to my channel subscribe below so you don't miss these type of videos you want to know where your son is placed along with all your social details check out the links here careastrology.com otherwise we'll see you later bye bye